vlogs to another new exciting travel vlog and in my last vlog most of you have seen that I came to Bangalore for my parents routine checkup in Narayana Institute of Cardiac Sciences and as everything has successfully completed and we have three more days time in our hand to return to Hyderabad so we decided to go to a place that is very near to Bangalore and just a distance of eight to nine hours and that is a place that I have dreamed of going so we have decided to go to that place that is famous for its clean crystal clear water in pleasant and picturesque beaches, pristine water and the place that is very near to Goa as well and there you can find the Goa vibe in a very budget friendly way. So that place is none other than Gokarna. It is a most favorite place for beach lovers, youngsters and travelers who seek for a peaceful vacation. It is one of the safest place as well. One of the main important place to visit in Gokarna is Mahavalesha temple. The Atmalinga at Mahavalesha temple is as sacred and holy as the Jyotirlinga at Kashi temple. So people can enjoy their vacation in a peaceful way and also a very budget friendly manner. Let's don't waste our time and pack our luggages and let's explore the Gokarna trip. I'm very excited for the trip and I have to go to pack my luggages and are you guys ready for the trip? Let's explore Gokarna trip and let's begin our trip. Our cab came and we are heading towards Yashpantipur bus terminus that is our boarding station. We booked the tickets from Redbus app and it costed us 800 per person and it takes 8 hours of time to reach Gokarna. Good morning guys, so we have reached Gokarna and at my back you can see our bus is going. There are various beaches in Gokarna that is Om Beach, Kudle Beach, Paradise Beach, Gokarna Beach but as we will opt for Kudle Beach so for that reason we have to board an auto and go to Kudle Beach Hilltop. Here you can see the auto. We have booked that auto and it will take us to Kudle Beach Hilltop and it will take 150 rupees. So guys we have reached Kudle Beach Hilltop and as we have planned previously that we will stay on the sack that is on sea beach so we have to go to the sea beach and for that reason we have to trek and at my back you can see the road that is the road by which we have to trek and we have to go to the sea beach so guys let's go gokarna is a trekky and beach bums paradise combined into one the famous gokarna beach trek is one of the most unique experiences in south india where beaches and greenery meet there is plenty of things to do in gokarna such as exploring the many beaches or temples Tent camping in Gokarna has a new following with the youth who want a true nature outing with no humdrum of the city. As one of the premier holiday destinations near Bangalore, a lot of travellers simply take a Bangalore to Gokarna road trip and have a great time even on a smaller budget. This destination is not very expensive but is extremely rich in experiences that you will gain. Sand that shines as bright as a sun and an ancient history that has kept up with the modern world. This isolated town is a heaven of peace and serenity. Hi guys, so finally I have reached in our sack in Kudle beach that is on the sea beach only and it was a very adventurous trip because we had to come by trekking and it was hectic too because I forgot about my two trolleys and I had to carry those two trolleys while trekking but I have enjoyed a lot and there are many sacks on the sea beach and you can find any one that you liked but this one I have liked a lot because I found a balcony beside my room where I can sit and while sitting in the balcony you can enjoy the sea but you can stay on the hilltop of Kudle beach as well but there you will not feel the raw vibe of the sea because there you will not hear the sea sound and you can't see the sea from there but the raw vibe of the sea you have to stay in the sack and you can find many sacks over there and this one I like I will give the details in the description of this sack the phone number and everything and in my sack uh, they are taking 900 per room and I will show you the sack 
as well the rooms and everything is fine so let's not waste the time i'll get ready i'll do the bath and then i'll go to the sea directly so let's explore so guys finally i am ready and i also had my breakfast it was butter toast and tea and after a long i came to a beach after almost a long gap of 7 to 10 years i came to a sea beach for that reason i am super excited to go there but before that i'll show you my sack i'll show you the rooms and everything i'll show you and i also have to uh, order my lunch so after all these things i'll go to the beach so let's see gokarna is a town on the arabian sea in the southwestern indian state of karnataka a popular pilgrimage destination for hindus it's known for sacred sites like mahabaleshwar temple which has a shrine dedicated to the deity shiva this town is very near to goa almost 50 kilometers and the town is also home to beaches such as palmland gokarna in the center plus kudle and om further south Gokarna is dotted with many temples and pristine beaches like Kudle Beach and Paradise Beach making it an ultimate destination for peaceful vacation. One can completely lose their worries and can enjoy the life with a new outlook here with lower budget. Is Gokarna safe? Yes, Gokarna is the safest place in India. It is safe at night as well. Gokarna is a great place for domestic and foreign tourists. It is absolutely safe and serene. Gokarna is known for its idyllic beaches and pristine water. Gokarna is favorite among all the travelers who seek for a peaceful vacation. It is more laid back and less commercialized version of Goa. Other than that, it has famous beaches like Om Beach, Kudle Beach and more seculated Half Moon and Paradise Beach. It is the best place to spend your vacation and relax from your daily routine. Gokarna is situated in the northern border of Karnataka and Goa, but the main difference between Goa and Gokarna is that the clean beaches and crystal clear water are what missing in Goa. Gokarna is less crowded than Goa. People who want to spend some quality time and stay in peace should visit Gokarna. We are enjoying a lot. Like whoever will love sea, definitely will love this place. And we're having a sun bath, and it's three hours almost. But we don't want to go outside from here. Like we forget about our lunch as well. Heat is also not that much. It's soothing only. Even uh, this is the month of May, but the heat is not that much. It's very soothing, and now it is one thirty. Who will say that? We like it feels like. Nine or ten. So okay, let us enjoy. Gokarna beach trek is an easy trek for any average person with basic fitness. That is, if you are active at least a few times a week, it's going to be easy trek for you. So guys, after returning back uh, to our sack, we did our bath and now we came for our lunch and we have ordered one chicken thali, one bangla fish thali, and one prawn curry thali. So the view is awesome and uh, we are having lunch and. is coming so it's definitely awesome so we all are hungry let's have our lunch we'll talk to you later <laughs> guys so we had a lunch and all the foods that we ordered were very nice very delicious and we ordered prawn curry bangla fish curry and chicken curry and uh, i didn't even expect that all the foods will be so delicious but yeah uh, this is very good over here and another thing is uh, now this is our relaxation time 3:30 we will take a break of 1 hour and i'll lie over here only and i'll swing and i'll just enjoy this pleasant weather the breeze is coming and uh, the sound of sea is also very nice for that reason only i said all of you to stay here only but the person who don't uh, like who will not be able to come down like if the person they can't come here so for that reason for them hilt up is fine but for you youngsters you should come and stay in the beach side then only you will get all the adventures and you will also able to feel the raw vibe of the beach so that is all about uh, what i have understood so let me relax for one hour and we will meet you when i'll go outside because uh, we will go for uh, other beach hopping side of this only there is om beach paradise beach and other beaches but we will uh, see the sunset from here only because the sunset view is best from kudle beach so we will have our sunset view from here only and from my balcony also there <laughs> we can see the sunset but i'll go to the beach Okay, let's enjoy. 
for a half an hour to one hour and we'll meet when I'll go out. Till then, bye-bye. Hi guys, so the relaxation time is over and now the time is for beach hopping. So we got ready and we are now going out for the beach hopping. And beside this beach, that is Kudle beach, there is Om beach. The significance of Om beach is it uh, forms the shape of Om. The Om beach is one of the acclaimed beaches in India. So let's go to Om beach and we have to go by trekking. Definitely in every beaches, like from one beach to another beach, if you want to go, then you have to trek and then you can go to the next beach. We will uh, come back here before the sunset because the sunset view from Kudle beach is awesome. It's uh, breathtaking. So let's not waste time. Let's go to Om beach and then we'll show you what's the view. Let's go. So guys we are now going by trekking and the first few steps were uh, like stairs like around 50-60 stairs but after that the road is like full of adventure like you will not get such adventurous road anywhere I guess you can see in my back also the road my god and I don't know no one is there I feel a little bit scary <laughs> but adventurous trip as well. So we all are going, let's see, I will show you the road in back camera, see. about to happen it seems like the sun was waiting for us and we came here we reached here and then it is going for set so i will show you in back camera as well just see i am showing you the back camera situated between gokarna and om beach just 6 km from the town kudle beach is one of the most popular beaches in gokarna away from the hustle and bustle of pilgrim city the beach is enveloped within breathtaking mountains Watching the sunset and vast sea can be an experience worth undergoing. The beach is one of the most interesting Gokarna places to visit.
Hi guys, good morning. Welcome you all to the second day of my Gokarna trip. And yeah, this swing became my permanent place because yesterday night also I was lying over here only up to 2 a.m. And when I slept over here, then at midnight I realized that okay, I am here. Then I went to my room. And today morning also I woke up and then I had my bath because of this salty water and like I took two times bath yesterday in sea and for this like humidity it feels so sticky and for that reason it feels so bad <laughs> that is why after waking up I only uh, take my uh, bath and then again I lied over here because like mostly Whenever I am in this sack, more time I am spending over uh, here only in this balcony because the view is like heavenly. Even yesterday night also when all the sacks just sw uh, switched off their lights, it feels like heavenly. Uh, like uh, I can't even express with my words. So now I'll take my break first because breakfast already has arrived. So yeah, let's not waste our time and let's have our breakfast because yeah, tomorrow morning when I'll be taking my breakfast, that time definitely I'll be missing this place, this view, this balcony and this swing definitely. Let's take the breakfast and we'll start exploring the day. Let's go. Yeah, so everything is completed. So we again came to... Walking like yesterday, then we have to again trek, but this is not possible in this kit. So now we we'll go by the boat. You see. So guys, at my back you can see the boat. So we'll be going by this boat. But yeah, our plan has been changed a bit. First we thought to go to different beaches and bath over there, but. Then I thought that yeah, if I take my parents uh, to those beaches and we can bath and we go to different beaches then it might happen that they might feel sick. So yeah, I have changed my idea, changed my plan and I talked to the person. They will take us for one hour and they will uh, take us to different beaches like Om Beach, Paradise Beach, Half Moon Beach and all. And at Half Moon Beach we can uh, go down for 10-15 minutes in the beach and then again they will let us return to this uh, beach only like Kudle beach that they are taking per person 600 rupees uh, so we thought that yeah this will be a good idea because we can enjoy this thing and yeah uh, they will take 8 to 10 percent for that and we are waiting now so some of them you can see at my back they old life jackets and uh, they were enjoying so we also thought ki, okay let's let us also buy a life jacket until the boat starts we can go and we can enjoy because without life jacket yesterday also we enjoyed but with life jacket we can go a bit more so yeah let's go and enjoy started our journey you can see others are also there oh my god <laughs> this much waves my god this is so scary <laughs>
guys now we are in half moon beach and some of them have like done the deep sea swimming so now the boat will start again this is back side of me this is half moon beach Definitely this place is very adventurous and I love the place so I will not go out from here and yeah that one is Pelican Beach okay and now we are going to the place where the deeper meets the ocean that place and yeah I am doing just this and this like this you can feel by the video I don't know yeah but the view from here is different my god yeah, I'm showing you at the back. I'm showing in the back camera. So this is the Belican beach and this one is the Nirvana beach. So in this Nirvana beach only you can find the phytoplankton but uh, not always. Sometimes only you can get that. At that time the ocean's color is blue. But now we don't get that. But yeah, our love that we get all the way to the sea all the way today. Gokarna's own beach offers excellent sunset views. Waters pose jet sky ride, banana boat ride, parasailing and surfing are some of the activities to try in Gokarna's own beach. Activities are offered by private operators and not all activities may be available at all times. At Half Moon Beach, we have seen the dolphins. The honey beach of Gokarna is known as the glowing beach because of the bioluminescent water. The glow occurs due to the presence of phytoplankton in abundance in the marine waters. I don't know swimming so with the life jacket only I tried to swim a bit to float a bit for that reason I took 5 more minutes and I went deep inside a bit my face is now full of tan uh, but I don't care because I'm enjoying tan and all I don't at all care because there is many processes like the tan and all so guys we bathed in sea and after that we came here for lunch in our sack and after that now our lunch has been completed so again we are going for last time see what and uh, like yesterday also not that much guys I thought of spending 10-15 minutes time but uh, it took me one and a half hour and at 5.30 I returned back to my sack and uh, I took my bath and I got ready and packed everything because now it's time to say goodbye to Gokarna yeah definitely I am feeling sad because in these two days I've enjoyed a lot I've enjoyed like hill and definitely I recommend everyone to come in Gokarna whoever wants to spend their lizard time peacefully and in this crystal clear water clean beaches you can definitely enjoy rather than going to Goa so it is near to Bangalore as well and uh, definitely I'll give every descriptions, uh, everything in description as well so yeah we have witnessed sunset as well from this beautiful Kudle beach from our balcony 
and now we are going to check out and then we will go to the famous Mahabaleshwar temple and then by seeing Gokarna beach we will say goodbye to Gokarna and we will go to our bus terminus and then we will return to Bangalore and from Bangalore we will go to Hyderabad so let's don't waste our time let's go and please join me we will see all the things and then we will be goodbye to Gokarna so let's go so let's go Another significance of Gokarna is Mahabaleshwar Temple. The Atma Linga of Lord Shiva present at the Mahabaleshwar Temple is as sacred as the Jyotir Linga at Kashi Temple. So this is Gokarna beach that is very near to Mahabaleshwar temple. So now we are heading towards the bus terminus to board our bus to Bangalore. So Gokarna is a very nice place to visit in weekends. And if you like and find my video informative, then don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Let's goodbye to Gokarna. We'll meet you in my next vlog. Till then, bye.